students welcome to my new video in this i am going to introduce you a type of organism which can fix atmospheric nitrogen and provide to the plant so hope you know the name of the organism what is the name of the organism it's rhizobium right so before moving to that i will give a short introduction about nitrogen fixation and what is the requirement of this nitrogen fixation because you know uh, there is some 78 percentage of nitrogen is present in the atmosphere even though the plant is not able to take that nitrogen directly from the atmosphere so because of that reason it requires some nitrogen supplements in the form of fertilizers has to be added for its growth or else it requires the help of a type of bacterium which is growing with symbiotic association with leguminous plants so what are these things we will see now so here i have written two types of organisms one the first one is symbiotic so what is the word symbiotic means the association between two organisms here one is plant and the second one is bacterium so the plants which are having leguminous roots or what do we say leguminous plants having root nodules so like this uh, if this is the plant root if this is the ground here you can see some round round like structures these structures are called as root nodules inside the structure a type of bacterium resides that is called as rhizobium so this rhizobium is forming a symbiotic association with leguminous plants so that the bacterium takes nitrogen from atmosphere and fixing this free nitrogen so what is the nitrogen available in air we are calling as free nitrogen and fixing this nitrogen by this bacterium and forming nitrates and these nitrates are mixing in the soil when the plant is absorbing water these nitrates are also dissolved in that water and taken by the xylem conducting tissues so that the plant is getting nitrogen supplement with the help of the symbiotic bacterium in return what is the benefit taken by the rhizobium from the plant food in the form of food the plant is providing the food to the rhizobium so there are some more bacterium are there uh, which can do the same process of rhizobium so those bacterium are franchia and azospirilla and the what is the second one non symbiotic just opposite word of symbiotic which do not undergo any symbiotic relationship with the plant which is just living with the plant not forming symbiotic relationship so that is you cannot expect it is forming or residing inside the root nodule such type of bacteria are listed here cyanobacteria anabena nostoc azotobacter bigerichia clostridium all these bacteria are non symbiotic relationship forming bacteria with the plant there is no mutualistic relationship between the plant with these bacteria so this is about these bacteria and there is one more form the nitrogen is fixed the free nitrogen is fixed to the soil in the form of nitrates that is by the process called lightning so you know what is lightning right so during lightning the uh, with thunderstorm the lightning happens high temperature is created in the atmosphere so nitrogen combines with oxygen forming nitrates or its oxides so that these oxides
oxides once these oxides along with the rain this is dissolving in the rain and reaching to the soil and available to the plants so all these unavailable form of free nitrogen present in the atmosphere is made available to the plant with the help of these three processes first one is symbiotic relationship by rhizobium and these bacterium the second one is non symbiotic relationship and third one is by lightning process okay second part of this video i'll be performing one experiment to show you the rhizobium bacterium and how it lives in the root nodule of leguminous bacteria we'll see in second video bye thank you for watching